Hello YouTube. I am making a 3D printer. And I'm also making mistakes. And you don't have to make the same mistakes I made. First up, stepper motor drivers. Don't put them in backwards. Put them in backwards, you fry them. I got three here. They're dead. Now, here's the power end. Here's the power end. This is backwards with the little potentiometer that you can turn with a screwdriver. If that's facing the power side, that's backwards. If it's not facing the power side, it's good. Backwards will kill it. Okay, another thing you can put in backwards. Thankfully it didn't kill this. On this LCD screen, there is EXP1, no, yeah, and EPX2, maybe that's a typo, I don't know, but on one side there's a red wire, and on my little breakout board here, EXP1 and EXP2, you can put these in backwards. But looking at it like this, with the power side down, the red wire goes to the right, and that will work. So, this is not labeled either on my board. This is negative, positive, negative, positive, 12 volts. This was not labeled either. Heat bed. One side and the other side. Doesn't matter which. This would be the second hot end heater if you used it. This is the first hot end. Doesn't matter how those are lined up either. Hello. This first stepper driver is X. Second one is Y. Third one, which I killed, is Z. The one that fits here on this set of pins and here. That is for the extruder. This would be for a second extruder. The pins way down in here, which are hard to see. These first four are for the thermistors. I put a little drawing here. The hot end thermistor is T0. This one and this one. The heat bed thermistor is T1. This one and this one. So, again, that's right there. One, two, three, four. And I modified a little connector here. And I broke it out to a little screw terminal thing. So I can just screw my thermistor wires into here when I'm done. So this will line up with the four pins. Just like... Hmm, this... One, two, three, four. Like that. I stole this out of a computer. It'll work. Another thing. End stops. Okay. On the end stop switches, I'm using mechanical switches. They are wired as normally closed, normally open, and common. Okay. I got little tiny connectors here, which I also stole out of a computer case.
Ow. They go. Normally closed is hooked up to white. They go like this. And this bank here. But that's hard to see. So that bank there, first one is X, second one is Y. Well, first one's X, skip one. Second one is Y, skip one. Third one is Z. Normally closed, goes to the outside. Common, goes to the middle. Another thing, if you have one of these power supplies and you haven't killed it, there is line, neutral, and ground for your AC. Line, when you cut your cord, will be black or red. Neutral will be white. Ground will be green. So, that covers the switches. Oh, that covers the hot end and the heat bed thermistors. X, Y, Z, and extruder. Stepper drivers facing the right way with a little screw away from the power. The red line on the LCD screen wires to the right when looking at the board with the power end down. Oh, your motors. Check your wiring on your motors. Put an LED inside of it. In the end there, I've got this LED punched into the first two connectors for the board. Give it a spin. Should line up, light up. Then do it for the other two. Spin it, lights up. It also feels really steppy. Go figure. If you put it in the middle, you're on both the coils, and it feels very smooth, and the light doesn't do anything. So what you need, you need two sides of the coil on the first half of the connector, and two sides of the coil on the second half. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. If you plug it in, and it doesn't spin the right direction, you unplug it, spin it around the other way. Of course, with this guy off. So that's how you check that. Oh, after you kill your 12 volt power supply, you can gut a PC. The yellow wires provide 12 volts DC. The black are ground. As you can see here, I just cut all the wires and I stripped them. And I use this handy screw terminal connector. I got ground here, positive, ground, positive. So here I got two black wires, two yellow wires, two black wires, two yellow wires. I'm not actually using these. All the rest of the wires in there, the green wire, has to be connected to a ground wire. And that tricks the power supply into thinking it's turned on, which it is. The red wires, you don't need them. I think they're 5 volts or something like that. Same with the orange. Same with the blue. You cut them off. Cap them. Tape them up good. You can cut them off right at the board if you can reach them. I couldn't, because there's a whole little forest of capacitors there. So I cut them off a little longer, screwed them all together, taped it up. And these are extra ground wires that I'm not using. But anyway, so green to ground, yellow is your 12 volt, black is your ground. It's an extra ground going to green. Very important. I stole this cable out of a connector for a computer. And if 
if you want to make your motor do something, after you got this all hooked up, press enter by pushing down, prepare, go all the way down to move axis, I'm going to pick one millimeter, I've got X hooked up right now, so I'll move X. That is so satisfying. Okay. Oh, and solder. If you're soldering stuff, 1.62 millimeters, 6040 clear flux solder from uh, the source, also known as Radio Shack. This stuff works great. Oh, using wraps, 1.4 board. On there, I stuck Marlin wraps, Epicos I-38, onto the little chip on my board. Uh, what is the name of that program I used? I'm using Proterface to control it. Haven't got that working yet. I got parts from DX.com. I downloaded the files from MakerFarm.com. I got all my motors and stuff from Robot Dig. And the name Ah Arduino. The Arduino IDE is what you get the program onto the board with. It hooks up just with USB. Good luck with your 3D printer. I'm having a hell of a time. Goodbye YouTube.